Hey guys, so you want to integrate Steam widgets for your website or blog? Let's say you are an indie game developer or an indie game publisher or server hoster or just a gaming clan and want to include Steam widgets for Steam apps and games, servers and players into your website and blog. So in this tutorial I want to show you how to do that. Okay, so let's say <clears throat> we have a game here. I picked, for example, I picked Star Valley, which is a very nice game. <laughs> okay, so when you scroll down, you can see here's an embed button, and then you can enter a description and then create widget, and then it will create you an iframe based widget. Okay, so I created the test website structure here. Um, had HTML document and let's uh, try it out. So, okay. So you can see this is the result, and you can op open Steam. Um, you can add it to your car, so you know, some things. And you can see it's just an iframe. You can't really customize it, you can't really adjust or control it. And if if we reduce the screen size, you can see it's not responsive. Okay, there needs to be a better approach to integrate Steam widgets. Okay, so this is where steamwidgets.com came into play. Okay, so <clears throat> steamwidgets.com offers you widgets for Steam apps or games, servers, and players or users. Okay, so we don't have to do much for that. We can use this to integrate the appropriate the uh, the widget module we want to use. We can use app or server or user. Okay, now we want to try app, and yeah, we can remove this as well. It's not needed. Okay, and then. We can just write this. Can move this. All right. Let's see. Et voila. Um, we can make it a bit wider. Let's say 400 pixels. So now it's bigger. And what happens if we reduce the screen size? You can see it adjusts itself, so it's responsive. Okay, and there are a number of options you can use with your widget. For let's say um, you have made a popular game and you want to show the rating and SteamWidgets.com offers the possibility of a five-star rating system, so you can just rating equals one or true, and then you can see since Stardew Valley is, um, you can see this here, rated overwhelmingly positive, it's of course five-star rated. And let's say you want to also include the player count, the amount of people who are currently playing. Okay, you can write online count. And then uh, you can basically, basically do any text. Okay, let's see what uh, this does. So now what you, the important thing you want to do is to include the actual player count. You can use the special variable count and then let's say in game. And then you can see what happens. So 23,000 people are currently in game. <laughs> yeah. So this is, uh, uh, this is the most important thing. And what you can see, there are a number of options. Uh, you can select and adjust it, for instance, the language and the author. 
let's say author is uh, by laid by developer for instance yeah and what you can also use publisher Yeah, and since it's, you can see it's both concerned Abe, so yeah. All right, and what you can also do, is also very neat, you can create dynamic widgets. You can create a, a div with an ID, and then you can create an instance of Steam app with the selector, and then a configuration object with all needed uh, um, values. And these are here described. So yeah, and you can see it has also some methods like update widget, change language, or you can also show or hide uh, the image. This it means this image here. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. And if you want, you can also use a server widget and the player widget or user widget. And if you don't want to use the CDN, you can just use um, Node.js npm package manager to install the Node.js module, Steam widgets, and uh, yeah, you can see this is how server widgets uh, could look like. You can also define an image, and the same for the player widget. Yeah. All right. I hope this gives you an overview and. Yeah, have fun with the widget component.